When I tell you that it was a chaotic mess, I mean like it was a chaotic mess. Think voting station lines kind of thing, like 1994 vibes. Cause if I'm the ocean, you're the rain. We only need each other, baby, you know we're the same. What's up besties? Good morning! We're up super bright and super early. Actually, I'm up super bright and super early. Susie just roll out of bed. Oh no! Woke up at 3 um, because we're heading out to the airport. <laughs> I'm so excited but I'm starving. I don't really want to eat anything because I'm saving my appetite for the slow lounge. Ooh. I hope it's not going to be packed at the slow lounge. Because if it's packed then ugh, it's not exciting but this is day one of our holiday just me and Lizzie Basil it's gonna be fun I just woke him up literally at like 10 past 4 we said we're gonna wake up at 3 but home guy was just tossing and turning snoring his life away Oops. in bed while I showered and I woke up at 3 specifically because I wanted to put on makeup but then I was like you know what I'm not gonna put on makeup I only did my brows and then I just left it at that I'm anticipating today's travels to be very like hectic and it's gonna be hot and all that fun stuff so I just you know, did my skincare routine, which is wash my face, put on a serum, put on a moisturizer, and some sunscreen. And then my brows and I powdered my face, and that's about it. We ordered our Uber last night. We reserved it for 5 a.m. today. Our flight is only at 8, but you know the airport process. You hurry up and wait. So we want to get to the airport before 6 so that we can wrap our bags and then go check them in and then go to the slow lounge without like running and rushing. The last time we were at the airport, we actually couldn't go to the slow lounge because we were so late we we're cutting it so close we were running through the airport the whole time mm. so we we're redeeming ourselves this time around we got our passports i brought two of mine because you know they needed to be valid for more than six months mine isn't valid for more than six months the new one anyway so i'm bringing the expired one just in case that's that i think we're good i think we're good we, we're ready to go two different bags this is mine that's dizzy basils and look i organized my cupboard wow. Who am I even? Who am I? I do need to stay on top of this Uber though because I don't know who's gonna pick up our Uber. It's 4.44 right now. It's scheduled for five. I have to send them a code to get through the gate because there's no way in hell. We're dragging our bags all the way out there. Nope. Before I actually forget, let me just water my babies. It's way more than I usually give her, but that's okay. Look who's making a little leaf, mm. even though it's really struggling at the bottom with space, but still thriving. I'm not gonna give this one a lot of water because it doesn't really need all that much. It should be a okay with that. One more over here. Oh, this one needs to be pruned. Mm. Too many leaves. Can't tell who's coming, who's going. It's too much. I don't know how I'm gonna reach this one up here. Oops. Let's just finish charging this in time. It's nine minutes before our Uber gets here, honey. We're gonna start zipping up our bags. I don't know what's going on, but for some reason my nose is still running. Oh no! What's up with that? My sunglasses are downstairs and the Uber is here. Oh. Running back upstairs to take the key back. What's going on with the lights? Keys are down, lights off, let's go. He doesn't want to pay three percent. I'm telling you guys, it is so packed at the airport. Oh no! The keys. My bag is all wrapped. Dizzy Basil doesn't want to wrap his bag. What? In fact, he wants to, but he doesn't want to go to the ATM. Looks like he's going with a unwrapped bag. Do you have it? Yeah, I have it. It's 
Turns out having premium stuff actually helps, huh? Literally skipped the queue, jumped all the way to the front. Even though we like a whole entire two hours early, we still skipped the queue. So we're going to the slow lounge. That's gonna be fun. I'm starving. The excitement is low key kicking in, but at the same time, I'm terrified for takeoff. Oh and I'm not in my stomach. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. Get a month from now. I don't need nobody else. I got you. It is. And you got me too. That's how I know. You can ride out of the blue. I wanna do what you want to. I just realized that I haven't spoken about this on the vlog, but I was telling Dizzy Basil, I'm actually so damn tired. Last night I couldn't sleep. We only went to bed at half past midnight. I woke up at three in the morning, but the thing is from half past 12 until three, I probably only got like 45 minutes of sleep because just late then my mind just went shut down. And when I did get a little bit of sleep, I legit dreamt really it was in our bed. Like he was sleeping in bed with me and Dizzy was sleeping on the couch and we had this massive bedroom what? <laughs> and sleep, did I sleep on the couch so when my three o'clock alarm went off I woke up and I'm like what are you doing here how did you get here because they obviously now at grandma's house right I look at Dizzy and I'm like we have to get ready we, we need to go shower and get ready for the trip and then it dawned on me what are we gonna do with really um. now he's here with us we obviously didn't book him a ticket for the trip what are we gonna do and this is like um should i run downstairs to the security guards to ask them if they can watch him for a week what i'm <laughs> just like no um. it's like okay should i go to school and check if their boarding would have him for a week I'm like no as i'm busy going back and forth with the nose my actual three o'clock alarm went on and i was like oh my god so glad it was a dream what are the odds i think because as i was drifting off to sleep i was thinking about him i called him last night the first thing he said when he picked up the phone he's like mama four more nights and then we come home <laughs> I'm telling you, he's his mother's child. Even when I took him to grandma's house that night, I slept over for one night. He insisted on sleeping next to me. And when we lay in bed, he puts his little arm over me. He's such a cutie bear, though. Such a cutie bear. And when I woke up in the morning, he was still asleep. But as soon as he felt me moving, he was wide awake. Like, I'm awake. Where are you going? So I knew. I knew he was the one that I had to tell over and over. Like, you're going to be here for eight nights and i made him count like monday tuesday wednesday because i know he looks forward to such things and he does the countdown it's so weird that i had the dream anyway total sidebar my nose is just doing the most oh, i don't no. know what's going on i feel so tired do they have a red bull i don't know maybe i should get a red bull instead oh look at my hairstyle i never did send you a picture well now what's the mixture picture of my hair Remember yesterday I said I was no, doing my hair? What color is the hair piece? Oh. Is that gold? Yeah, kinda. You up bright and early? I didn't want to oversleep in case you let me escape me. This is it. Oh, there's no queue. Yay! You say take me on a treasure hunt. I long for some. Fairies when they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes I see Yeah, 
when I got off the plane and I saw those guys with the ear plugs on with those ear thingies I was like they're so extra but to be honest I get it it is hella loud out there it's actually insane Like yeah, baby I'm editing this vlog and I realized there's an entire time frame of events missing. Oh, it's no. almost like we just bleeped from driving to the ship to now getting in the cruise ship, which is not entirely accurate. Oops. There is a lot of things that happened in between that, all of which were super overwhelming. And that's why there isn't a lot of evidence regarding that. So what had happened was we got off the airport, grabbed our bags, ordered an Uber, and it took us to the terminal for the cruise ship. When we got there, I literally got hit. I I don't want to say instant regret, but you know, you get off the Uber and there's people everywhere. Oh, I peopled no. out. There was a long line, I think voting station lines kind of thing, like 1994 vibes. What? It was that intense and that insane. Leading up to the moment, I had prepped myself for a number of people, but not too many people. Purely because when we booked our cruise, when Dizzy Basil booked it, it had said we're going to be embarking or checking in between from 11 until 12. So they give us an hour and they kept reminding us to be on time and all that fun stuff and i had obviously thought in my head that people will show up at their designated checking in times i don't know why but that's what i thought and even though i knew that obviously it's not an exclusive cruise it's not just for us it's not a private yacht um. i just didn't think there would be that many people so we got off the uber and shuffled through the queue to find a way and where we're going and eventually we did find somebody who was like guiding the line so people like where to go all the fun stuff and so we showed him our papers he showed us the line we didn't know why people were queuing up but you when person that knows what's going on tells you this way you queue you queue there oh. so we joined the queue and it turned out to be the queue to drop your bags because when you check into the ship you're not necessarily holding your luggage which i thought was nice it was very convenient because who wants to be hauling a bunch of luggage while trying to find their way around so we dropped off our bag immediately it was a little dramatic people were cutting the lines some were not having it i remember there was a group of ladies who made like green t-shirts printed queen and they were cutting the line and somebody was like oh hell no you found me here you gotta go behind me or join the line at the back and i was just like okay it's getting spicy so we stood there and the whole time remember i'm running on like 45 minutes of sleep at most we dropped off our bags eventually and then after you drop off the bag then you sort of like go back to formally check in go through customs you know get your passport stamped all the fun stuff i remember telling dizzy i need a red bull and i saw a little station that sold a red bull but then after dropping off the bag and you know from the trauma of being in the queue for that long i was like you know what forget the red bull i don't want to feel like i need to pee before we actually get in the ship so forget the red bull leave it as is we went back in to go check in and oh my days again think 1994 voting lines okay so we braved it out they put little chairs you know those home affairs chairs that are silver and you get to sit they're not comfortable they're hell cold it was those chairs and they were lined up a lot so people were not sitting but we're like zigzagging between the chairs and we're going all around the other side to get your little MSC card. And then you go the other way to get customs. At the time, it didn't make any sense. It just looked like the line was not moving. Um. Eventually, they brought out like little water, you know, with lemon slices and all that fun stuff. And then some juice and ice cubes, I suppose. People were like going at it. I guess it was refreshing because it was hot. The place was air conditioned, but with a lot of people in it, it didn't feel like it was air conditioned at all. My shoulders were on fire because the backpack I was holding was heavy so eventually we keep going going we get through the other side we check in they give us our msc cards basically our identity while on the cruise ship we go through customs going through customs was honestly so easy after checking in you just go through there they stamp your passport and then it was time to go into the cruise ship and this is what you're gonna see next us going into the cruise ship they're so tiny it's like yeah, baby stuff Hello. What am I giving you? The car. Is this a club? Oh, look outside. It's not gonna lock us out, is it? No. She said I won't be back in a while. Don't wait. Already packed a bags. Call the cab. May space. Oh my God, you guys. We are finally in the ship. It took what two hours? We're only now in the ship. 
it took a small forever. I'm so mad, I'm tired. I just wanna sit down and regroup. My shoulders hurt so bad because my backpack was heavy. And let me tell you something. If you're a person who hates traffic, if you get road rage by being stuck in traffic, don't go on a cruise. <laughs> Because those queues will kill you. Unless you get here like super early. I'm talking like 4 a.m. Maybe even 3 a.m. or something. You get to start the queue early. And you can get through earlier. Before they even open. What deck are we on? 11. At this point we're just taking stairs. Because we cannot get a lift that's not fully packed. I think there were people. They just disembarked people. Look at the chocolate things on the floor. She got herself a guy. And he's good. No, he's great. Everything she wanted packed behind the pretty face. Looks really nice. <laughs> it smells like heated swimming pool in here. Oh no! Picked them all back up, put them back together. I can't believe I let you slip. I think about it seven days a week and this just. Hello, how are you? Good, good. Thank you. Holy cannoli, there's literally no cues. What? This is cute. I can't believe this. We literally just skipped a queue that could have taken hours. Everybody congregating there. Then we used another tool. Somebody recommended it and we're like, okay, we'll do it. Here we are. Oh my god. Yes. Now we can chill here. I know. We can sit here forever. It feels so good to sit. I need to get my bag off of me though. a ton of ice you know when it's hot cold things don't cool you down oh, no. but it's refreshing let's talk but first let me blow my nose I don't know what's going on with my nose today but it's so congested and runny something is not make sure it's actually such a gorgeous view where we're sitting let's pause this conversation homegirl's gonna go find some food i'll be back you know what this is gonna take over please say your first impressions and stuff yo 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 what's uh -huh. up the regular way like a regular people why does it go like this oh there we go where do i start this looks like a video log like i'm i'm lost in space and i'm about to explode into the thin air i think the ship is good um, experience everybody wants to get in first so we come in a bit later from there I think everything else is okay we just gotta be here and relax gives me the Sun City vibes I mean furniture and everything else looks, looks like you're in Sun City the exclusive areas might be like maybe you at the palace but yeah I was expecting maybe a different experience maybe when it's moving it will be a different experience but I think Colorado will love it I mean, huh? She gets over things, and then after that, she'll run it. She'll be vlogging and talking. This is my last video before I get hit by an asteroid. So I love you, Earth. Keep safe. Um, Mr. Off Button. Okay, I'm not sure where the asteroid is coming from, but I kind of catch his drift. So let me do the honors. I realized that I said let's talk, and I never did get back to talking. Two reasons. One, I had a pounding headache oh my god like bonola would say her brain is falling mine was all the way down to my toes it's oh no hectic and second i was so overwhelmed i really truly struggled to organize my thoughts and to just be in the moment it was insane but what i wanted to talk about is my first impressions about the cruise ship once we were inside i mean i already told you guys what was happening outside you already showed the clip of the outside hashtag voting vibes you already saw that but I wanted to chat to you guys about my first impressions. It's a first time cruiser. It was my complete first time being on a cruise ship. I had never been on a cruise ship until then. I've never needed to be on a cruise ship until that moment. Honestly, I had no desire to be on a cruise ship until that moment. Dizzy Basil convinced me and I was like, you know what? an experience let's do it so first impressions when we onboarded the ship i was kind of taken aback by the shininess of everything there was gold shiny stuff everywhere and of course people everywhere it was oh, I, I honestly was never ready. The carpets were stained. It smelled very dusty. The corridors were really stuffy. It was not very good first impressions for me. I was very disappointed. I think we onboarded on deck five, if not deck four, but somewhere around there, because I remember we had to go up. Everybody was tired, so people just walked in and sat on the 
first available seat. So there was a lot of people on the lobby there, which made it very difficult to kind of find your bearing. As soon as you walk in, the lady at the door said, you know, they're serving lunch. Well, welcome aboard MSC Splendida. And you know, they're serving lunch upstairs on deck 14. You can go up there, your cabins are not ready yet. And go grab some food and then your rooms will be ready then. First of all, I'm like, oh, come on, the rooms are not ready. But that's besides the point. Once we get past the initial shock of people sitting everywhere, we're trying to get a lift because deck 14, we are now on deck four or five. I don't remember accurately. We have to go all the way upstairs now to deck 14. Oh, the no. lifts are so packed, like there's not enough room for anybody to squeeze in, obviously, because now everybody's coming outside, coming in. The disorganizedness of it all, like had they let people check in at the time they were supposed to check in, we wouldn't have had this situation with the lift being packed. They were old people. It was, it was really like heartbreaking in some moments where you see old people struggling to go up the stairs or waiting for the lift and people are hungry and tired and sweaty and hot and we all had to wait. So I said to Dizzy, let's just take the stairs. We're on the fourth deck or fifth deck so we have nine floors up to go or ten floors up to go but it's either that or we can wait here forever. So we took the stairs and we used that opportunity to sort of like explore every floor as we were going. Eventually we got upstairs to the buffet which is on deck 14 and oh my god the corridors were not big enough and the queues were in insane thankfully there was somebody a guy who was like no no if you go the other side like just go out this door and go the other way there's another door goes to the exact same place and there's no queue there obviously people hadn't discovered the door so we went there and sure enough there was no queue it was very busy there was a lot of people all at the same time which made it very difficult to maneuver your way around the lift situation was just so heartbreaking i wish they had made a priority lift for the older people to get in and be able to get to where they're going the situation at the deck 14 to get into the buffet was insane um. had we not known about the other door we would have waited there forever oh no i wish they had told people there's another door the other side and you can just walk in there i don't understand actually why people were queuing in because you just had to walk in how could you be in a cruise ship if you're not supposed to be there but anyway the cruise ship was actually not new i think i watched on the news two days before our actual cruise and they had said a brand new cruise ship is coming to south africa and yada yada but what they actually meant was this cruise ship is new to South Africa and not necessarily brand new because it looked worn out. Oops. I was watching Dizzy's clip where his hair reminded him of Sun City and I was just like, huh? Okay. It didn't do that for me. And I thought maybe I was feeling the worst feeling because of the headache I had, but I think it's just the reality of it because honestly, even if I didn't have a headache, I probably would have experienced everything the exact same way I experienced it. We eventually got food, which was very underwhelming. I really didn't eat much because nothing looked appetizing. It was just, I needed to get into our cabin. That's all I needed. And we had to wait for an additional two and a half hours before our cabins were ready. Oh no! How I survived it, only Lord knows. It's a little pagado sachet. Save me again because I have a pounding headache. <laughs> You guys, I have a serious question. When you get a headache, do you also just automatically think that you have a brain tumor? Huh? Or is it just me? Every time I get a headache, I'm like, yo, oh, I need to get an MRI scan done or something. Like, I always assume the worst. Every single time without fail. This is easy, he doesn't think that. He says I watch too much meta investigation discovery. Is there such a thing as watching too many documentaries? My nose went on clock today, yo. And I was struggling to sleep as is. Now, how am I gonna sleep tonight? Actually, we're not even sleeping tonight. What am I talking about? Recharge. And then yellow in the mouth. What Nola says, her brain is falling. Her brain hurts. The other day she said her brain was falling down to her feet. Sometimes she says her brain hurts. My brain hurts right now. How do I read this? Huh? This way, right? We're going to be on 12-203. Yeah. So we should be no, on this side. Uh, it's coming you on. Um, 203. 12-203. 12-203. Yeah, you do. This way. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh my goodness. We're already zigzagging so much. Dun, 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 dun. The carpets are very dusty. Oh my goodness. Ooh. 
Okay, it's tight, but it's cute. Uh, ooh, and look. Oh my goodness. Is it raining? Huh? It's raining. Yeah. Wait, is it raining or are they washing something? I think they're washing something. Uh, yeah. Eek. Definitely washing something. All right, can we put the lights on, please? Is this the bathroom? Yes, it is the bathroom. Wow, I've reached my <laughs> workout goal. Wow. Mm, it's cute. It's adorable. Except one person can be in the shower and another one on the toilet seat. That's a no-no. We finally checked into our room and it is actually pretty cute. I think it's very neat considering this is an entire ship. I just noticed we actually have a joining room. I hope it's not going to be too loud. Like the people we have next to, I hope they're not too loud. So otherwise, it's just very disruptive. But it is what it is. I like the couch. There's space for the couch. You can sit here and watch TV. There's obviously a full-on bed. The nice life-sized mirror. It's incredible. Then the bathroom with a toilet shower and then the vanity and then the cupboard right next to it it's nicely sized honestly i'm not i'm not complaining that's great plus it's nice and quiet which is a double plus for me no when you open the door it's like oh, all the noise creeping in it's insane it's hectic i just took off my shoes my feet are happy sneakers are good but man where's pololo hi lola back hi <laughs> How are you? I'm eating yoga. Oh, yummy. Did you see the boats outside? No, 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 Twelve. <laughs> 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 Okay. I want to skip this to our guy. 4,000. What? 4,000. Yeah, plus 1,000. Yeah, but over So, 5,000. Hello, Rato is still sleeping. There's been this weird message going on telling us to turn the TV on. Apparently the safety message, I'm assuming it's like the one that you see when you go into the, uh, the plane, but you know, you can see how my love is still down. It's been a couple of hours. Oh my gosh, I don't think the TV is working. Do you have to sit you on zoom here? What is that? And this, oh, those are for the light. What did that do? There's a remote here. The remote is not working. How am I gonna know? Hello, my love. Mm, you still wanna sleep some more? Varjenta, what to do? That's why you hit the beeping. Oh, I left the remote over there. As you can see, I'm living the life. Ooh. Life. Did the beeping make wake you? Mm. What were you dreaming about? I'm like 150 pages of my book since you slept. I'm almost done. So we just came back from doing the fire drill and when I tell you that it was a chaotic mess, I mean like it was a chaotic mess. I just feel bad for the old people, man, because some of them are like walking, you know, with their little staff and have to balance themselves and they were probably just relaxing in their rooms and now they have to go all the way downstairs and they gotta use the stairs. But they said it was successful, so... I guess it was successful. We did manage to get to our assembly point. We did get our cart scanned, which is great. I like that the cart is basically your all-round access. That's genius. They did that very right. But I, I have a headache again. I'm going to have to start pumping myself with water. This basil has gone to get painkillers. But I know my head is my headache is just problematic. Every time I travel or I get too hot, I get a headache. That's why I always think, hell, I gotta bring two more something. <laughs> but we're about to leave now. We have dinner at half eight and then we're gonna go party up a storm. That's what we're gonna do. That's why I need painkillers, because I need to burn my egg game.
Tonight we're running 